So. Okay. okay. All right. All right. I am recording and I am going to um, share my screen with you guys. I'm going to kind of bounce around with my slides tonight. So y'all just forgive me, but I'm really excited. I really am excited um, to share this with you because I am declaring 2020 the year of growth and the year of leaders being built in our team. And this is going to help us. Okay. So first of all, just to go through some announcements, um, Team Cup, <laughs> Kimberly's going to roll her eyes at me. Team Cup, you have, to, <laughs> you have to be registered by the 31st, and I can't freaking get our team registered. I don't know what is up, but they keep telling me I put your codes in, your coach IDs in wrong, and I have checked and checked and checked, and so I'm like crossing my fingers that I got it right this time, but if you register by the 31st, um, you get to be part of a team cup. Um, I know that I have a newer coach, Jade. I don't, you have to message me and tell me how, if you've got them registered or not yet. Um, but also I heard on the national wake up call that if you register a team that you get $10 promo codes, two $10 promo codes. Um, I don't know if, I guess we all get them. Like if you're on a team cup, I'm not really sure. That wasn't clear, but hopefully that's true. So I'm sorry. I'm trying. I really am trying. Um, but if you haven't listened to last week's national wake up call, she did a really good job of talking about what the team cup is and just really instilling belief and how this can help you and help our team together. So they really are good. Um, the next thing is that summit tickets are on sale this month for one sixty five. Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, mute you guys just so, if, but you can unmute yourself um, if you need to, um, just so you guys can hear me. <clears throat> but um, maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, the summit tickets are 165 this month. That is a pretty big savings. I think if you wait till the end, it's like two something, 295 maybe. Um, but again, like if you are a success starter, which means now in 2020, if you're a new coach and you actually um, hit success club, your shoot y'all. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out and it won't work. But if you hit uh, success club in the in three out of your first six months as a new coach so you could hit it like in in january march and april or february april and may like if you just hit three months out of your first six months you become a success starter and we're going to talk about that tonight as well but you can actually earn your your summit ticket for free which is a really big deal it's in in new orleans this year um it'll be really really fun it's a chance for all of us to be together as a team see each other the trainings are incredible absolutely incredible so but if you want to go ahead and purchase your ticket and then you earn it they'll like actually refund you the money so that's something to think about too um the success club trip for 2021 that is so strange to say uh for 2021 one you can actually like you uh elite coaches and success club legends and such have already had that window to uh register for this but you can go to the success club F um, the success club trip faq and you can get on the list to be invited off and as you're hitting success club they will invite coaches off to register for that and so um definitely make sure you're on that list if you have goals of going to riviera maya next year i took my family a couple of years ago it was amazing you pay 300 dollars to secure your spot it's non-refundable but if you hit success club every month that goes towards the cost of your trip so um i've earned four four or five trips now and i've only been able to go on like three of them but um, you, you do get to go for free. So it's really, it's a lot of fun. And again, it's a chance for us to be together. I'd love for you to be there with me. Uh, bar blend challenge packs are on sale this month. Also the to be mindset and UPF and the work challenge packs are $20 off this month. So definitely take advantage of that. If you're doing bar blend, like I've been talking about a lot about it using polls in my, in my stories this past week. And I've started a lot of conversations about it. And so this week I'm going to spend the time following up and saying, Hey, you know, if you want to do this with me, the challenge packs are $20 off this week. Um, I would love to help you get started and save that, that $20, you know, for the rest of the year, obviously they get it early and bar does not release into bod until June. So if people are interested and they want to do it, if they don't sign up this month, they're going to either have to pay the extra 20 or they're going to have to wait until um, June to do that. You guys who already have customers who are bod members who want to do this, they can, sorry, y'all, I have indigestion. 
they can do the completion packs um, and they could switch to a coach or they could just do the completion pack. And if it's been within like, if it, I can't remember how they do it, honestly, but I think if they do the completion pack, you'll get another two success love points. All right. So, and they can also switch over to a coach account. So you guys who are pushing to rank advance um, or to even sign people up as working coaches, they could sign up as a coach with the 20, the completion pack and you get two success club points and they get access to bar and they become a coach. It's like a huge win for everybody. All right. Does anybody have questions about that? No. Okay. Um, let's see. Next one. If you are a coach who is motivated by recognition, um, and I didn't really think I was until I became a coach, but I do like it. I enjoy it. Um, uh, so summit is in July and these are the dates for you guys that are going. If you want to be recognized as an Emerald coach or a diamond coach or a one star or above, uh, these are the dates that you have to qualify. So say for example, you want to go and you want to register as a diamond coach and at summit you go, you register register at different ranks. So, and there are different rewards and things for different levels of coaches. So if you want to be a diamond coach at summit, you have to actually hit diamond or one star, two star, whatever rank you're pushing for by April 30th. And then you have to hold it for six weeks. All right. So you have to rank advance no later than April 30th. That also comes into play when it comes to our retreat uh, because we are having a leadership retreat for our team and it will be in May. So, you know, if you're pushing for this, if you want to be a part of that retreat um, and you want to be recognized at Summit, then make that, honestly, I would back up your goal. I would say I'm going to be a Diamond Coach by April 2nd. And if you, if you miss it a couple of weeks, you're still within that window to be recognized at Summit. All right. And it's really fun. It really is cool to you. They make a big deal out of you. And so um, definitely set that goal and talk to me or your upline if you want to make that goal happen together. But our retreat um, is still on the books. Abby and I are running this together. We have never run a treat retreat together. We've never done one like this. It's going to be different. Um, it's going to be at the beach and it's going to be in May, mid-May, uh, just one weekend, like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we just always have a good time. This is definitely a fellowship time. We do a little bit of training, but it's more so about being together as a team and pouring into each other and answering questions, asking questions, having fun, um, and really just pouring into each other as individuals. So that is if, if diamond is your goal and you want to do it early this year and lock that in put that on your calendar and let's be there together but i will be sending invites out to that as you guys begin to qualify okay um leaderboard this are this is our lives change board um jade and myself are at success club McKenna is so close. Caitlin, who is Jade's coach, is so close. And Caitlin is actually, I spelled her name wrong. Sorry, Caitlin, if you're watching this, um, is actually really close to locking in her success starter. She hit success of her first and second month, and she's already at SE4. Um, and then we have a lot of other coaches with their um, with points on the board. And like I said in my live video in our team today, if you are at Success Club 2, that is the thing. I mean, like, even if you're not at SC5, SC6, if that's your goal, um, Success Club 2 is a big deal because that's one person, you guys, that you help to join your challenge group and get started on their own health and fitness journey. And we are all living examples of what can happen with one guest, with just signing up with a challenge pack starting a workout program, incorporating Shakeology in the nutrition plan, and joining a challenge group. So guys, that's no small thing. So if Success Club 6 is your goal, then don't stop pushing for it. You have a lot of time left in the month. You can hit it this week. Follow up hard. Be direct. Be excited in your conversations. Get into people's inboxes. And, and you know, use that $20 off for the ultimate portion fix, for bar, whatever it is, and just get people started. All right? So um, the other thing I wanted to recognize Andrea and Alyssa, um, Alyssa's sick tonight, so you guys say a prayer for her, but they are really like getting outside of their comfort zone and doing some different things. Andrea is doing like a seven day faith and fitness boot camp. It's like a free little mini boot camp to give people an idea of what a challenge group would be like. So uh, kudos to her. If you have questions about how she's doing that, I'm sure she, I might actually have her go live on our team page. Um, Alyssa is doing something similar. She's doing like a, she did like a meal plan workshop and she had a live zoom call last night where she actually got people on a phone and 
are on the Zoom and she talked to them about how to make a meal plan, gave them some resources, and then she invited people at the end to join her challenge group. So they're just kind of stepping outside the box um, and, and doing some things that they wanted to on their own and this is in their wheelhouse. And I just wanted to recognize them for doing some things that are maybe look a little bit different and feel free to ask them questions about what they're doing for sure. All right, um, does anybody have any questions before we move on about announcements or anything like that? If not, I'm going to go ahead and jump into onboarding coaches. So, you guys, I've been an, a coach since August of 2014. Um, I kind of skirted through my first and second year, just running great challenge groups. I loved running challenge groups, hit success club every month. And then, honestly, I kind of started to get bored. Um, I got bored with not challenging myself, not leveling up myself. And so I started to really focus on coaches, recruiting coaches, building a team. I don't even think I had, a, Tracy was laughing at me because I sent her like my first team call from 2015. Um, and she was like, at least you had. I was not laughing at you. Oh, stop. You should be laughing at me. If you didn't, that was like something wrong with you. Get back in the shower. Um, so anyway, so like I ran a team call, but I didn't really have a team. Like I didn't have a team. Um, I kind of sort of said I did. I didn't even have a team name for a really long time. But in January 2016, I was like, okay, Rachel, I'm bored. I'm making some income, but I either have to like just stop be content with just running challenge groups and posting my sweaty selfies or really like level up and give myself a new challenge. And that challenge was building a team. And as it's scary as it was, like I committed to running a sneak peek every month, running my own coach training, my new coach training every month. Guys, I ran so many trainings and calls and things and not a soul showed up, but I said, I'm doing it for 12 months and I did it. And our team hit premiere that year. We hit two star premiere. And so like it worked, like it worked. I'm living proof that it works. Okay. And, but I have done everything when it comes to onboarding coaches. I've tried everything. I have done like self-paced trainings. I have done, um, you know, like tons of calls. I've tried to get coaches on one-on-one -on -one calls. I've tried to like shove information down their throats. I've tried to like give them some space. I've done everything. And so like a lot of things worked and a lot of things didn't, but I really, this year, honestly, stewardship is my word. And I don't want to just steward this business, like my own income, but I want to steward you guys well. And I know that if I'm not creating duplicatable systems for you to implement and doing them myself, then you won't grow with me. And I want, I want to develop leaders. I want to have six, seven, eight of you guys by the end of the year, running your own sneak peeks, running your own coach trainings or running them together independent of me, because that's where you grow. That's where your team grows. And so Abby and I have teamed up to do a lot of things and we prayed a lot about this and we came up together with this onboarding system for new coaches. And honestly, you guys it is very simple. I want to keep it simple for myself, for my new coaches, because it's overwhelming anyways, even at the simplest level, coming in as a new coach is overwhelming. And so I want to overwhelm them as little as possible. And I want to teach you how to onboard your coaches and not be afraid to recruit, because I know that that fear of, holy crap, I have a coach, what do I do with them now, stops a lot of people. All right, it stopped me for a long time. Um, and everything that I'm gonna share with you guys tonight is in our, um, is in our team Google Drive. And I'm actually gonna exit out of that right now. Um, and so I'm gonna stop share because it will make me do that. And I'm gonna go to our team Google Drive so you guys can see this. And I, I'm gonna share the slides with you guys tonight too, but most of this I'm gonna show you from um, Google Drive. So if you go to, t I have a Google Drive and I have this team take heart resources. Um, and so I have this file called, I have a new coach, all right? And you guys have access to this. I'll share the, the drive with you again. But I made this spreadsheet um, and this is a copy. So when you go in, you need to go to file and make a copy for yourself. And basically what I'm doing is for every coach that joins my team, every new coach, um, I will make a copy of this and I'll put, I'll use Evelyn as an example. She's a brand new coach. All right, Evelyn, new, new team take heart coach checklist, right? And so this is the process that I'm going to go through with each individual coach. And this is like a step-by-step. -step. This is like onboarding for dummies. All right. If you've never onboarded a brand new coach, like this is something you can do right now. All right. 
So this going through this form is going to teach them everything that they need to start. So whenever somebody joins my team, they're going to get an email from me. And again, these emails are in this, um, are in this Google Drive. It's all right here. There's a welcome email. Um, it says, hey, do you want to be a hobby coach? Do you want to be a, a working coach or just a discount coach, right? And so when they respond back to me, I send them a second email. If they want to be a hobby or a working coach, then I send them this Google form. And again, this is my Google form, but all you have to do is emulate it. You can go and create your own Google form and, and start right where you are, all right? So this is actually the wrong link. Hold on just a second. Let me go find it. Um, let me go find it. Go to my forms. Sorry, you guys. Hold on. Um, new coach quick start. This is what it is. I need to go fix that link for you guys. This is a new coach uh, quick start. And it is like a training that actually takes them through everything that they need to know. It talks about, it's a welcome video from me. Um, it, Evelyn, you should have gone through this all right, already, right? It asks them questions about their personality. Um, it has training already before they even get into any type of, of new coach training, uh, coach training about being proof of the product. Um, it guides them to their coach online office, how to use social media. Um, a lot of these videos I haven't recreated myself, but I will do that. Um, the color wheel, like how do I sign somebody up? They have to go through all of this. They have to go through a video about how we get paid. And these are like five minute videos, okay? So they're not spending like hours and hours watching these videos. They're quick videos, gets to the point. They get the information, they'll see it again. They can come back to this form later on after they complete it, um, but they have some actionable items to do. They understand what Success Club is. They, they make a list of who 15 people, who are their dream people after they watch this video. Um, you know, they have to click that I've, I've made my dream list and I've started to invite people to join me. Um, they have a Google, a Google Drive link again that they can access that has all of our coach information, our new coach resources. And so it's just, it's like, it's almost like a, a getting started right call without anybody prompting them to do it. And honestly, I am watching to see how quickly someone actually completes the form. If I send them this form and they don't spill it out for like four or five days, like I'm kind of like, oh, they're not really on that. They're not really excited about it because the new coach comes in and they're excited, right? And it's really keeping that momentum and that excitement going that really helps a coach get started well. And so if somebody comes in and they fill it out within a day or two, I'm like, yes, that person is on it. They want to do this. Um, they're probably really going to, you know, take my action steps and, and go with them. But if they don't fill it out for a while, I kind of think, well, maybe they weren't really like that on fire to do this. I don't count anybody out. I don't write anybody off. I don't mean that in any way, but excitement fuels the process. And so once they complete this form, they have to actually like text me at the bottom, my, my text, my cell phone number is down there and they let me know that they finished it. And then we set up our, our getting started right call. So again, they have action steps that they have to do in order to get access to me. And I think that's going to be, it, it may sound harsh, but honestly, guys, you're a business owner and you want to work with people who are actively working. Like I'm looking at Beth and Evelyn. They're two very, very like motivated people who have joined our team recently and they've done the things that, that, you know, everything that I've given them, they've done. I mean, they're on this team call tonight, right? They're like, they don't have any, any idea about onboarding a coach, but they're here willing to learn, right? And so um, once they fill out that form, I set up a one-on-one -on -one call with them. And I don't add them to a team training. I don't do anything like that. This is like slow process. Like, let's go through the information. Let's talk about it. And it really instills confidence in them. And it gives me an opportunity to find out who they are and how to work with them, right? So again, I set up the call and these are the things that I do on the call. I just work through this list. I go through, and I'm going to show you in just a minute, I go through the new coach getting started call. I'm not going to do I mean, I will do them for you guys if you want me to, for newer coaches, if you're onboarding, we could do like a team getting started right, but I'm gonna do one-on-one -on -one getting started right calls with my coaches from now on. It helps me, 
instill confidence in them. And it also helps me give them things to do. So I'm going to ask them, I'm going to start with like, how did the floor make you feel? If they're like, oh, it overwhelmed me completely, then I know that I can't really push a lot of information at this person. I need to work with them slowly, give them small, um, actionable goals and really help them process the information. If they're like, it was awesome. I did all the things. I'm like, okay, here's your next step, right? So I can make notes over here. Like, um, Evelyn was overwhelmed, which she wasn't really, she was kind of a killer. Um, but you know, like I can have those, those notes and mark it as completed. All right. Um, ask them if they have any questions about the form. And then I really work through, I take like three or four questions from the form and talk through those things. What's your health and fitness journey like? What program are you starting? What flavor of Shakeology do you have? Do you need any help knowing how to mix it, right? Because obviously we're always a challenger first. If we're getting results in our fitness, if we can help them get results in their fitness, then they're gonna be excited. They're gonna have results to share and they're gonna be pumped up about telling other people about what they're doing, their challenge groups, right? Um, what is their greatest weakness? You know, going through that, that Enneagram three, the personality thing, like what are their strengths and their weakness? That tells me those things about this person and we can talk through it. If they say like, I, um, I'm really shy, I don't know how to start conversations, and I'm gonna focus on that more so with that person. If they're like, I tend to blast people, like, and just like ask straight for a sale right away, like I'm gonna talk them through how to build a relationship and things like that. Ask them what makes them excited, uh, what they're nervous about, and how much time they can devote to the business. Because if somebody tells me that they have like five hours a day, then I'm going to walk them through coaching a little bit differently. If they have one, two hours a day and it's pockets of the day, then I'm going to have to tell them, okay, you're going to do this on your tracker. Um, when you wake up, you're going to do this at your lunch break and so on. So it's much more personalized, individualized, and I can make notes on this person. Um, walk them through the new coach training presentation. We're going to do that. I'm going to show you guys that a little bit, just kind of walk you through it. Like I would do it and you have access to this new coach training. You have access to this Google drive. You have access to all of these things, my emails, my Google form. All right. So if you're ready to start onboarding coaches and building your team, like guys, don't wait, <laughs> don't wait. Um, you have access to everything. All right. And so whenever I walk them through the new coach Google Drive, and I'm literally going to like going to talk to you guys like you're a new coach. I'm not going to cover all the things because I know you know a lot of them, uh, but you will, this is what you'll use to walk your own coaches through it. So I want to treat you like that so you guys can take notes, ask me questions, anything, right? And so I ask them, one of the things I do too is I ask them what their why is. Because you guys know, if you don't know why you're working, you're gonna give up on the days that you're tired. You're gonna give up on the days that everybody says no. You're gonna give up on the days that you had a long day at work and you're like, oh, the last thing I wanna do is to send invites. But you're gonna look at your why and I'm gonna tell my new coaches to hang it up somewhere, just like I have my, my vision board right up here in my office every single day and I see it and it reminds me of why I'm going to send another invite. It reminds me of why I'm going to talk about coaching. It reminds me of why I'm going to get on that new coach training call every single Wednesday, right? So knowing your why keeps you plugged into this business and keeps you pushing past those limiting beliefs and those fraudy feelings and those doubts and those fears that you have, all right? Um, and so <laughs> this is our um, this is our new coach training call. Um, going back to the why, like for me personally, at first, like I needed to just earn like a hundred dollars, like a hundred dollars would help us cover our bills. Um, and then like pretty quickly I was earning like in my first five or six months, I earned $3,000. Like that was a lot for our family, but it was all gone because we had medical bills and things like that. And then when we started to pay off debt, I was like, okay, I could pay off more debt and we would have extra income to save for college. And then my why became to be home with my kids. And you guys, like that motivated me on those days that I was worried about what people would think about me if I invited them. That, were, that motivated me on days where I wasn't motivated to invite people. And I really started to just look at a picture of my kids and be like, I want to be with them. And that is what got me through those growth pains of my second and third year of coaching and eventually brought me home. And so that is really important. If you don't know why you're working this business, you guys, like 
please sit down and think about it and write it out and share it with your coach or share it with somebody. And so when you have a why, it's going to be really easy to teach your new coaches the importance of that. All right. And so I schedule a call with them and we go through this, this new coach getting started right call. And I usually tell them it's going to take 30, 45 minutes probably for us to do this first call. Um, Evelyn and I were on the phone for an hour and a half and it was amazing. It was fun, but you know, like it should take you like 45 ish minutes to, to go through this. Um, and it really starts with our mission statement for me personally, for our team, I want us to serve women through faith and fitness to help them live a healthy and fulfilling life in order to really live out that calling that God has placed on our lives. If we're not healthy, if we don't take care of ourselves, we can't be confident in doing those things. I fully believe that I lived that out for so long. Um, and so this has helped me be healthier, to be stronger. It has grown my faith in, in what I do and who I am. And as a member of, uh, of this team, honestly, that's what you signed up to do. You signed up to provide biblically based health and business training where Christ is front and center. And that's our mission. And honestly, that is what's going to keep people uh, coming back to us, keep people engaged. That's what sets our, us apart. And we need to definitely be communicating this message clearly and on the outside and on the inside when people join our team. You are big, your biggest asset. I'll also tell them that. You are your biggest asset. You are the most important part of your job. You have to work on you because you honestly can't expect other people to take care of themselves to join your boot camp if you're not doing the workout, if you're not making a meal plan, if you're not drink, drinking your Shakeology. Um, and so like I really encourage new coaches to really plug into that. Why are you here? What is your, what is your goal as a um, health and fitness coach, but also as an individual. Please, please make sure you're making yourself a priority. Um, then I encourage them to know the products. You know, we have to be trying the products. Do you know what we sell? That's going to be one of the first things new coaches need to do. They need to go and learn about the products, learn the difference between Ultimate Portion Fix and 2B Mindset. Learn the difference between a protein shake and Shakeology. Listen to the national wake-up call. Watch those videos in your Beachbody links or in your coach office. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're questionable, if you, you're not sure you believe in Shakeology yourself, then read Darren Aline's Superfood book. I love that book. He is a superfood hunter. He is not just a book about Shakeology at all. It's about his mission to, to live well. To, he, like, trains athletes and puts them on these diets and like in, and really like is passionate about real food. And he's the creator of Shakeology that makes Shakeology different. You will never question it again. If you read that book, it's called superfoods. All right. Um, I mean, can, like learn why is Energize yellow? Like people are going to ask you that. Why is it so yellow? It's because look, I should know. I can't think of the word, but it's because it has this plant based, um, uh, part of it that makes it super bright, right? It doesn't, it doesn't make you jittery. It doesn't um, hype you up on caffeine and then make you crash. Like it's a very natural form of pre-workout, but get to know the products. And honestly, think, just find out what are your favorites. You don't have to love them all. I hate cafe latte shakeology. I think it tastes gross. Um, like I cannot drink it. Um, I don't love su certain things. The, the regular beach bars make me really gassy, right? So I don't really honestly love to do the three day refresh anymore. Um, I know some coaches do it all the time, but I don't like to do it. So it's okay if you don't love all the products, think about, find out which ones are your favorite. And, and those are the ones that you're going to be passionate about. I actually, in my, in my sign up email for my new challengers, new coaches, I have, I have the, the regular, the Shakeology challenge pack, the performance pack, and then I have Rachel's challenge pack and it has my favorites. It has Shakeology, Vegan Recover and Energize. So I actually have started to put that in my sign up email and I have a lot of people that'll pay the $200 instead of the 160 to get Rachel's favorite challenge pack, right? And yours could be like a 160 challenge pack and you add Energize to it. The Energize comes at a discounted price when people buy Shakeology or buy the challenge pack. So it's just a way to upsell, but I'm upselling products that I absolutely believe in, right? So telling people, learning to love the products, telling people about the products and how they impact your life is what coaching is. 
you're gonna, you share things all the time. You share things all the time, like your favorite restaurant, a cute new pair of leggings, or, you know, like your favorite workout leggings, or, you know, your earrings. I mean, people are telling people about things they love all the time. So you don't have to be afraid to share about this if it's something that you believe in and you've learned about and you've invested in. Um, share, you know, like everybody who drinks Energize should be offering Energize in a challenge pack sign up or at least afterwards, right? But definitely in the challenge pack. People see you drink your go-go juice, your sunshine powder, whatever you call it, they want some too because you believe in it, right? And that's simply what we're doing. We're helping people change their lives with the people, with the products that we use. Um, and honestly, guys, like, you signed up. We want to be a team. And I communicate this from the very beginning. We signed up to, to, do, um, to do that, to help people get healthy and fit. Do what you signed up and said you were going to do, right? Um, it drives me batty when coaches quit like um, within a month of signing up because it gets overwhelming or someone told them no or something like that. And they just give up so easily. We are women of integrity. We are representing Jesus Christ. We are not just selling a product and then running away. We signed up to help people. It's a learning process. It's a growing process. And so stay the course, stay the course, do what you said you were going to do and help other people see that, that you can get results. They can get results, but also that they can help other people begin to use the products too and help other people that they know become challengers too. That's what coaching is, right? So that is that that's essentially what I teach coaches that we're going to do um, at, as they go through the training and start to grow and things like that. Um, also, I teach them about using their resources. So as a new coach, you have access to everything, probably too much. But these are the places that I encourage coaches to focus. The Coach Online Office, I, t I show them where the new coach training is, the, the videos. It's amazing. If you guys have not gone through the new coach videos that corporate put out last year, like you need to watch those. Like they will help you no matter where you're at in your business. All right. Also, team pages, calls, um, the Team Beachbody Champion page, that is where a lot of resources are shared. The 411 page is where the National Wake Up Call goes live every, every week. YouTube, Google, no coach has the excuse not to succeed in this business, honestly, even with an inactive upline. I have people who call or who message me every week and tell me they want to switch to my team as a coach because their coach just isn't active or their coach isn't supportive. And you know what I ask them? I ask them, I'm like, are you hitting success club? Are you inviting? Are you running a challenge group? Well, no, my coach just isn't supportive. That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. There are videos out there, you know, yeah, Melanie Metro is my upline, but she didn't handhold me. I had to, she didn't even talk to me like until I was a diamond coach, honestly. And so like, I just had to participate in her trainings. And if I didn't find the answer there, you know what I did? I went to YouTube and I looked up how to create a profile on Instagram. How, when, when stories came out before she told us anything about it, I had to look up, how do I make a story? How do I record a video, right? So use the resources that you have at your fingertips. And yes, when you get overwhelmed, when you can't find an answer, like that's what we're here for. We're a team. That's what our team page is for. That's what the new coaches training is for. That's why we have team calls and weekly uh, new coach training calls. That's what those opportunities are for. But definitely use the resources that are at your fingertips and plug into what you already have. National wake up calls as a new coach are non-negotiable. Honestly, they're always non-negotiable. If you're not listening to the National Wake Up Call, you're missing an incredible, incredible nugget and incredible opportunity to grow and to advance in this, this business because they always light my soul on fire, even five years into this business. And then we talk about the four vitals. Now, this is something that you guys, that top coaches create for us essentially. Um, corporate talks to these top coaches every year. They share what they're doing and they do update these from time to time. All right. So you, I've seen them change since I've become a coach. Um, so they just share with us what they're doing to help them be successful. And we dive into this. I dive into this with my coaches. You guys know what they are. Um, and I just really tell my new coaches like, 
before you need to be creating graphics or stories or anything like this, this is what you do first. You work on yourself, you work out, you drink your shake, you share, you connect, you invite, you follow up, you do your personal development and you get people results. Though that's what you do. And then you repeat every single day, every single day. Um, and so like I have been doing these since day one. This is, if you look at my power, my time blocking sheets, I always put my own power hour at the top. I do that before I serve you guys because this is the foundation of my business and it always has been and it always will. And honestly, this is all it takes to be a successful coach. Now the trial sometimes is finding, when am I gonna do this? What time am I gonna do this? And that's how I help new coaches figure that out for themselves. So again, I go back, do you have two hours a day, three hours a day, five hours a day, one hour, whatever it is, we can figure out how to fit these things into your day. Um, and so we go through that. <laughs> I, won't, I won't go over that with you guys a whole lot. Um, and so their first goal is to start to invite to a challenge group, right? So we have a fit club. If you guys don't know, I have a fit club open, like a virtual fit community boot camp challenge group, whatever you want to call it, you can call it your own thing. Um, but I have a challenge group open all year long. Now, do sometimes I run like a bar group or a 10 rounds group or whatever, a new program launches. Yes, I have a special group, but I have a challenge group open in the My Challenge Tracker app that I leave open all year long. You can invite people to it anytime. Um, and it, I just changed the theme of it on a month to month basis to keep it interesting, to keep it different. And really to focus on things that I feel like God is calling me to focus on in my challenge groups. But my new coaches can put people in there whenever they want. So your first goal is to start inviting people to join our challenge group with a challenge pack with Shaco or the performance on and to become a success starter. And what that is a success starter is that you are, you help three people. Again, this has changed. It used to be you had to hit success club your first three months in a row. Now they changed it this last year. You have your first six months as a coach. You have to hit success club three out of those six months to become a success starter. And again, it's a very important goal to hit. Um, and a lot of people on this call have hit it and a very proud of you and you earn your free ticket to summit but you also set yourself apart as a coach and with team beach body and you show up as someone who is really here to serve people all right so that's helping three people a month get started with a challenge pack um and so that is our that's the first goal that i help them set that. Obviously, we talk about committing to a program themselves and sharing that journey um, and putting that out there. And we also talk about the benefits of becoming a success starter and what you earn for hitting success club every single month. And so I'll go through that with them. Um, but then I talk to them about how to actually start inviting people you know, start with your friends, start with your family. I honestly wish that I had invited some of my close friends and my family first. I kind of was very shy about that. You may be like, well, Rachel, you tell me to do that. And so like, I honestly didn't take that advice because I was scared of what people were going to think of me. Honestly, I was thinking, am I even going to stick with this? Like, why would I invite my good friends to a challenge group? I don't even know if I'm going to stick with this. Um, but I'm telling you, you guys are going to stick with this. So invite the people you love because five years into this, like if you go a year into it and you've never reached out to the people that you know the best, they may think like, what, why, why didn't she start with me? <laughs> like, why didn't she help me get health and fitness results? Right? So it's just like I was sharing with Beth earlier, like just be bold and say, Hey, I'm a new coach. This works. Like it's working for me. And I want you to be one of my first success stories. Um, and just, and if they say no, well then say, well, would you mind if I practice? Like I need to practice talking to people about my challenge groups. I need to practice talking about the challenge, the challenge pack and just ask them if they'll be your guinea pig and, and talking about it. And they may still end up signing up, but I can guarantee you if you stick with this a year from now and you're still getting results and you're still super happy and, and motivated and sharing your story, people will join you. So, so don't let them say, well, why didn't you ask me first? You can say, well, I did. And you said, no, are you ready now? Right? Um, so you are going to be in this for the long haul. So start with those people that you, uh, you know, the best, right? Um, <clears throat> how do you hit success club? You are basically, like I said, going to invite to a challenge group. Um, you can run a group with me. 
you can run a group with me for the first couple of months of your business, and then you need to start your own by the third month. Um, and I tell my coaches this, and you can start your own right away if you want to. You're totally capable of doing that. I have no doubt. I don't mind to be in a new coaches challenge group and help you co-run a challenge group. But for now, if you just want to add people to mine, you can do that. Okay. It's kind of like a safe place, right? Um, but you're just going to start conversations. And I love to start conversations. You're going to become a conversation expert. Your goal is to connect with three new people a day or at least 20 people a week. All right. How do I reach out to people? I'm not reaching out to be like, hey, Susie, I saw you just started following me. Do you want to join my challenge group? That's not building relationships, right? But I do reach out to people. Like if I see somebody following my story, I might send a message like, Hey, Emily, my name is Rachel. I see you're watching my stories. I don't think we've met here before, but I just wanted to say hello and like, tell me a little bit more about you. How did you follow me? Where do you live? It's cold here in Mississippi. Is it cold where you live? Like just start a conversation. You're not reaching out to close anything. You're reaching out to open the door, open the conversation. And I'm always really brief with these first messages, but I'm always really excited about something. I'm excited to meet you. I'm excited to connect with other mamas. I'm excited to, you know, to share my story, whatever it is, but always end with a CTA, which is a call to action. Like I said, like today I sent some conversation starters where I was like, oh, it's cold and wet here in Mississippi. Where do you live? What's the weather like, right? That was a call to action. That was a question for them to respond to. So the conversation keeps going, but I didn't say anything about fitness. I didn't say anything about my challenge group. It was just a genuine conversation starter. And they're going to get my message and they're going to go to my page and they're going to watch my own stories. And they're going to start to learn about me before I even invite them to anything. Does that make sense? And so I um, also, when I'm starting these conversations or when I am inviting, um, when I do start, to, I do transition a lot of these conversations to an invite. And it's very simple once I've built that connection. It's really simple to say, hey, you know what? I don't think I've asked you this yet, but you probably see what I do as a coach. I'm sorry I haven't invited you before, but I have a new boot camp starting in February. It's all about living loved and set free from our issues with food and with our body and just really walking and embracing who we are in Christ. Would you like to be a part of that? Do you have any health and fitness goals? Like it's a very, once I've started a real relationship with these people, it's easy to be like, Hey, hi, I thought about you. Would you like to join my boot camp? Right. And so if they say yes, then I work into the conversation. I use the scripts that I, in the beginning, I use the scripts that my coach gave me. You know, if you go to our new coach, Google drive, I have a, how to invite to a challenge group. Like I have a sample script there. There are questions you can ask in the, in the coach online office. And I really invest in the person. And when I'm asking them questions, I think about, you know, objections that they were probably going to give me before they even ask me. All right. So I welcome objections. If somebody says it's too expensive, I say, okay, why do you think it's too expensive? Like do, maybe they don't understand the challenge pack. Right. Or I talk about my story and say like, I did not have $160 to spend in the beginning, but I knew I had to do something. And it turns out it made a whole lot more sense for me to spend that money on Shakeology than it was on Diet Cokes or, you know, fried chicken or peanut butter crackers out of the vending machine, right? So go through the conversation slowly, recognize objections, handle them, realize they're part of the conversation process. Some people are going to think this is free. Slow down and talk to people. Again, use the conversations, the questions that we have in our coach office and in our Google Drive, but be yourself always, always, always. Be yourself. Um, and definitely don't be afraid of the cost. You guys, a challenge pack is an amazing value. It's an amazing value. And I have a go-to script that I follow that I, it's my story. When people tell me that it's too expensive, I say, I totally get it. Like I totally understand how you feel because I felt the same way. I didn't buy Shakeology for like three or four months. I thought it was crazy. But what I found was that once I started meal planning, once I started replacing my chicken and biscuit that I bought every day with a Diet Coke with Shakeology, like I was spending more on that than I'm spending on Shakeology. Um, once I started meal planning and just buying groceries that I knew we needed, and I started to put Shakeology into our grocery budget because hello, it was groceries being shipped to my door. Like it just made sense. Like it just makes sense. 
Um, and so like, don't be afraid to explain the value because it is an amazing value. They get access to our workouts for a year. My people get access to my boot camps for a year. Even if they cancel Shakeology after the first month, that's part of it. They'll probably stop showing up if they cancel Shakeology, but that's their choice, right? Um, but it's a great value. And definitely don't send them your link right away. Don't show up and throw up and tell them everything and say, here's a link to purchase something, right? Invest in the person, invest in the relationship. There's a person sitting on the other side of that Instagram message, on the other side of that email. Um, and definitely, definitely follow up forever. I always say, you know, follow up at least four times. Don't be afraid to do that. People get busy, they get distracted. You know, kid gets sick and throws up when they're trying to message you. Like people have real life going on just like you. So follow up at least four times, right? Not everybody's going to answer right away. Not everybody's going to say yes. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. But it's really important to, to have a Google form. And again, like I have a sample in our, in our Google Drive. I can send you a sample of mine. You probably filled it out, quite honestly, but I can send it again. Um, and it's important to ask for an email and an Instagram name in that Google form. Because like if I email somebody a couple of times and they don't respond, I'm going to go to their Instagram and say, hey, Emily, you know, like I sent you an email. I don't know if you saw it, but I know life gets crazy. Do you still want to talk about this boot camp? All right, just be very direct. Hold on. And then what if they don't commit? Um, because some people just aren't going to. You're still going to focus on selling three challenge packs that month. Success Club is still going to be your goal, but it's okay. You're going to have those people who don't commit. For those who can't commit, just meet them where, where they are. If you focus on helping five new people a month with something, like a month of Shakeology or a quarterly membership kit or a nutrition kit or Energize, you're still going to be earning and you're still going to be adding value to their life. And I just gave you a couple of examples. Like you definitely want to earn back what you're putting into your business. Like I don't really think of Shakeology as an investment. I mean, it's food, but if you want to pay for your Shakeology, like what are you going to have to sell in order to pay for that, right? If you sell a tub of Energize, you earn $9.95. If you sell a box of Beach Bars, you get $12.45. So just be familiar with, with the products, their volume, and your commission, and what you get from <clears throat> helping somebody get started with something, right? And then the next thing um, I usually ask a coach is what could you do with an extra $800, right? <clears throat> so if you break it down and you do sell three challenge packs your first month, you earn at least $150. Um, you do it again your second month, that's another $150, and then you have that residual income from the, the people who purchased the month before, and so on. So if you hit Success Club your first three months in a row, and those people stay on Shakeology, which we know they don't always, but a lot of times the average customer stays on Shakeology three to four months at least. Um, and so if you do that, you can earn up to $800 in your first three months. Like, what would you do with $800, right? So show new coaches what the earning potential is. And then we go through, like, how to post on social media, how to share your journey, how to not be salesy, but, you know, really talk about pictures and filters and light and, you know, the fact that once you become a coach, you're not just a beach body coach. So you don't need a, a, a feed filled with sweaty selfies and things like that. If you look at my feed, I mean, a lot of things aren't even like fitness related. A lot are family and faith based and just like lifestyle type things. Right. Um, and so we talk about those things and um, just, <laughs> help them get started there. And then the next thing is, you know, go through how to post that type of thing, consistency and the message and all of that stuff. And then we talk about, um, again, how to achieve success club. And here's something new that I am doing um, with my new coaches. I'm not actually giving new coaches access to my, my um, new coach training until they enroll someone and they get to 
Success Club points on the board. Um, why am I doing this? Why am I not just throwing them in there? Because honestly, I am giving coaches something to do at every step. And as they are showing up and they are needing me, then I know what their level of commitment is and I know how I can invest in them. So if someone signs up their spouse as a coach and they get two success club points or their mom or whatever, then I know that they're serious about taking the things that I've given them processing them and taking action on them. And that helps me serve the people who really want to get um, started in the business. And also it doesn't overwhelm them. I just want to help them start. You know, I give them access to, to some scripts to invite some people. And I tell them that I'll plug in when you have your first challengers. And the most successful coaches are honestly going to be the ones who just start. And we don't want a, a new coach training filled with flies on the wall. Honestly, you don't want that. You want people who are taking action, who are showing up on the calls, who are making the best use of you, your resources and your time, and who are really invested in not just making our team better, but making their own business grow and succeed, all right? And so I give them access to all of our tools, and I'm going to show you guys this. Um, if you go to my Google Drive, we have a Team Take Heart um, resources tab, and I have a new coach resources um, Google Drive. And I walk them through this on this call, and I show them um, what they have. So they have challenge group guides. If they want to, it's not in there yet. I need to put that in there. They have um, these documents on how to invite to a challenge group. This is the one where I literally, it tells them everything they need to know. Like it has a customer invitation process. I give them a brain dump of who to make a list of, sample inviting scripts. This is a sample conversation, like pulled from my own conversations about how I invest in the person and I ask questions. My Google form is in there. Obviously you have to make your own copy. And then like it walks them through how to sign people up even has my informational email um, that I use to actually send people before I sign them up. And so they have access to all of those things um, in this Google Drive. I even give them like sample Instagram templates that they can promote a challenge group with. So these are just ones I've used in the past. I show them how to click on it and to go and to edit it and make it their own. They have access to everything that they need to start talking about their journey, to start inviting, and to start taking action. Um, they also have, let's see, the BAT is in there. Sorry, I'm gonna click out some of this. Sorry, I'm jumping around you guys, but you get it. Um, the BAT is there, um, social media strategy. There's a posting schedule. They don't know how to post. This is my like, keep social media healthy and holy um, PowerPoint. Um, and so like they have, they have invite post ideas. I put that in there today. Like here are some posts you can make with a picture of you to start sharing your journey. So like they have everything they need. And so I don't really honestly need to put them in a training where I'm throwing more out at them. I tell them to make a list of 30 people that they can invite to a challenge group to plan to make an Instagram post talking about their um, their commitment to, to becoming a coach and helping people in a faith and fitness business. And then we schedule a call, tell them to get their, their first challenger signed up, whether it's their mom, their aunt, their husband, whatever. And then we schedule a call for the next week, all right? And so my goal is to actually like walk them through this step-by-step -step and on those weekly calls, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue say, okay, how was your week? How did it feel to start posting? What feelings are you having? What are, what are you struggling with? Let's look at your list and let's talk about how your conversations went. Show me your business activity from the week before. Um, and then, you know, I direct them, I give them assignment to go to the color wheel, like go and make your own color wheel. This is what you're going to talk about. And so each week, you guys, as you walk new coaches through their business, you have these action steps to go through with them and to talk to them. You don't have to think like, what do I do? What do I do this week, right? Um, you can actually help them get started well. So that's really like, that's it. I know it's a lot of information, but you can go through that Google, that sheet, that list, that spreadsheet. You can 
obviously make a copy of it your own. You can make your own, your, your own documents. You just need your own Google form, like your new coach checklist thing. Um, but other than that, everything else you can use. There's a link in there and that spreadsheet to the new coach getting started call notes, like everything is in there for you guys to recruit coaches and to get them um, started well. Um, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> Okay, so please, yes, please reshare. I don't, what's that? I don't know what that is, uh, what you're talking about, but I can reshare anything. So do you guys have any questions for me? Like, I know that we're in the process of doing our coach workshop, you know, like I know Kimberly and Tracy, you guys and Jade, you have some people in there that are actually taking action on what we're doing, which is exciting. So like, this is the process that you would go through to get them started one-on-one -on -one to help them get started right and to give them, but not to like, just throw people into a group and expect them to start. But you're also giving them things like, hey, show me you want to coach. Show me you want to get started. Sign up your first challengers. Here's how you do that, right? And so it's going to help you build confidence in them. Um, and it's also going to give them confidence in you as their leader, as their leader coach. And, you know, like your first couple of calls with your coaches, if you want me to go through that getting started right PowerPoint with you. Like you can lead it and I can just be there to answer questions. Like I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to do that. I remember Melanie got on some three-way calls with me when I had some new coaches. Um, so that is something I'm definitely willing to do. So does anybody have any questions? Like, does this help? Like, does it give you kind of a direction to go in? Um, just, just talk to me or, or whatever. And you may just be like, that's good. That's it. That's fine. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, that is all. If nobody has questions or if you have questions about anything else, you can definitely do that. But I'm going to take a picture before we go so we can post this in our stories. Um, look at me like my wife beater thing on here. I got hot. Okay. All right. Everybody smile. One, two, three. Okay. All right, you guys. That's what I have. Um, as you go through this, I think that you will have questions please don't hesitate to ask me. Like, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, I'm here for you. I'm excited about our growth this year. I'm excited what we're going to do in Jesus' name. And I'm going to say a prayer really quick before we go. And then you guys can go to bed. I'm going to bed. Um, God, thank you so much for this business. Thank you for these friendships and these women. God, thank you that we have just such a, a clear platform to, to share your name, to share what you're doing through us and in this business and in our challenge groups. God, please make us bold. Make us bold in, in saying, you know, God gave me this business. I'm here to help people. I know this works. I want to help you. Make us bold in following up and talking about how coaching has changed our lives, God. And at every step of the journey, God, I pray that we would give you praise and glory for what you you do in our in our bodies in our lives in our friendships in our finances in our business god um and that we would be just quick to to spread the name and the, the truth about who jesus is thank you so much for um, um just this team god and i pray that you would bless our efforts this year as we go forward in jesus name i pray amen all right you guys i'll talk to you later i'll share the